Stefano, I am really excited because uh, you have thought about some really healthy mid-morning, mid-day snacks for me for the space station. And, uh, you know, I'm used to think, a lot of people I think are like me, you kind of tend to think that a snack, you buy it, right? Ready-made, you buy it at the vending machine, sometimes they're not so healthy. But you have actually taught me how to do those in a home kitchen, right? Yes. yes. In a way, in an easy way. Yeah. Okay. And here we have all the ingredients. Yes. So maybe we can talk a little bit about them. Mm -hmm. um, I think the basis to supply energy, you have chosen some uh, puffed cereal. Of course. I understand that is some puffed millet and mm -hmm. some puffed uh, spelt. And we know, of course, all of those are whole grain uh, cereal, just like these uh, oat flakes. Mm -hmm. And that's really important, especially for a snack that needs to give you energy for a long time, that we don't use refined cereals, but um, whole grain ones. And some uh, barley flakes. Sweetness. Sweetness. We do want okay. it to be a little bit sweet, but okay. we do not want to add refined sugar, right? Yes. Um, we decided to uh, add the uh, fruit sugar, mm -hmm. so we use just uh, one banana okay. and one apple. We cut it and uh, we cook for five minutes just to soften it a little bit. Okay. So, one banana and one apple for about 200 grams of uh, mixed right, uh, cereals, okay. Otherwise, if you need to add more sweetness, you can add honey or uh, apple juice. Okay, so okay. We, here we have some apple juice. Yes. Okay. Just a little bit of water. Okay, so okay. a small glass. Yes. And we cook it for five, ten minutes, uh, just uh, to make uh, the fruit soft. Okay, okay. great. Stefano, I see that you choose to keep the skin, uh, and then I know, of course, that that adds a lot of fibers. And so that's a really good thing, especially if the fruit is organic, right? That's right. Okay, then while our uh, fruit uh, cooks just a little bit, mm -hmm. we can add uh, some more ingredients. We have here the uh, uh, seeds, which mm -hmm. are a really good source of uh, healthy fat, yes. so energy, mm -hmm. but also of uh, minerals. Mm -hmm. And I actually use them a lot, just as a simple snack like that, when I need energy. Um, they were a really good choice, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we have goji. Goji berries, berries, which you taught me are one of the most powerful antioxidants yes. that we have. And then, of course, if we wanted, we could uh, add for more sweetness even some dates, uh, chop them up and mm -hmm. add them, or some uh, raisins. Mm -hmm. And then I really liked that you added <laughs> some chocolate. For your happiness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you know that chocolate contains substances that actually help uh, in keeping a good mood, uh, which is really important uh, when you're uh, away from home like we are on the space station. Uh, but of course, it's really important to have the um, high concentration of uh, cacao powder, so at least 75% uh, or more, mm -hmm. so that uh, it doesn't contain a lot of sugar. And then we have one last uh, really fancy ingredient, which is the spirulina. And uh, maybe not so many people are familiar with it. It's an algae. Uh, it's a very uh, powerful food. It contains a lot of uh, highly digestible protein, lots of minerals. And you also mentioned that it uh, helps in controlling the acidity of the, of the body, which is uh, somewhat of a problem with our um, typical lifestyle. Um, 
So the interesting thing about spirulina is that because of its properties, it's seriously considered as a candidate for life support systems for deep exploration missions in, your, in which you are far away from home and you have to grow your own food. And uh, that's, for example, the case of the European Space Agency project, which is called uh, MELISSA. So as soon as our fruit is ready, it's uh, soft enough, we add it to the rest of the components and then we mix, uh, mix long enough that it's a nice and uniform uh, uh, product. Um, if we want to add uh, some sweetness, why not? We can add some more uh, honey or some more of our uh, apple juice or uh, I think it's a really nice touch, some uh, cinnamon, mm -hmm. which is, by the way, very much used in the um, area where I'm where I come from. And once we've done that, we take an aluminum foil, we just uh, spread it nicely, we try to, to get an even thickness of about uh, one, one and a half centimeters. Okay. And then we can use uh, another foil, we can put it on top, we press nicely so that it's nice and even. If we use then the lower foil and fold the sides, we, we can try to get uh, a somewhat uh, rectangular shape. And then we just have to put it in the oven, uh, 150 degrees for eight minutes. Okay, seven, eight minutes have passed. Our uh, snack butter should be ready. Time to take yeah. it out of the oven. Okay, looks really nicely. And then you told me now we have to wait about uh, 10 minutes so that it cools down, becomes firm and uh, nice and crunchy. But before we let it get firm, we want to cut it so that we have our nice single portion bar ready for us. So we have to wait 10 minutes, huh? <laughs> Actually, I'm really hungry and I'm curious. How about instead we, we try one of the bars that you prepared for me for the space station? Okay, sure. All right. You get half, I get half. Hmm. Hmm. It's really good. Hmm. Looking forward to this. Thank you. <laughs>